Oh, hey, I'm Kevin Swan, and this is Tap That. We're at the Blue Point Brewing Company, a brewery that's known for putting out innovative, creative beers all year long. Founded by two longtime friends and admitted beer junkies in 1998, Pete and Mark have been putting out amazing beers ever since. Their beers can be found at over 500 different bars. However, if you want to get to the good stuff, the stuff that they never release or very rarely do, you got to come to the brewery itself. You got to check out the tasting room, 12 different draft beers. It's amazing. Guys, how are you? Very well. How are you today? I'm very, much better now. Uh, it's about happy hour. I've got my first beer and uh, hopefully first of many. Cheers yeah, to get nice. this thing cheers, started. Cheers. Absolutely. Uh, so first off, what's, uh, what's behind the brewery's uh, name? Well, Blue Point's a little town right here where we're in the where the Blue Point Oyster actually originated okay. from. Uh, how long has uh, Blue Point uh, been around, the brewery that is? 10 years now, 10 year, 10th nice. anniversary this year. Fantastic. So the, uh, we made a special beer for it, we had a big party for it, and uh, was kind of just trying to survive it at this point. I remember seeing Mark around in the pub, you know, we'd see each other here in a, in a pub up the street, and uh, we thought, you know, we're brewing at home, figured we'd save a few bucks on the bar bill, so why don't we just do this commercially, you know? Right. And uh, that was the goal. And we're drinking for free now, so cheers. Right. Yeah, cheers to that again. Yeah, cheers. 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 Fantastic. It's a great place, great environment, great beer, great people. I love the place. I mean, I've been to a bunch of bars all over Long Island, even upstate, all over the place. Uh, seeing Blue Point on tap, surprised how small, how nice they are to you here. Like, it's just a good time. Everyone's just jamming out, having a good time. So what are we drinking uh, right now? And then can you guys kind of run down uh, a list of what uh, beers you're producing out here at Blue Point? Sure, sure. I mean, there's always a dozen on tap at the tasting room here. Okay. And some of those get out to the bars, the four or five top main ones, but there's always a few here that uh, you can come and just drink at the brewery. Okay. Things we're trying out, uh, the, we have something called the Brewer's Tap, which is a special beer that rotates through the different employees that work in the brewery, the brewers, and they can do whatever they want, and we put nice. their special per personal beer on tap. Okay. And so those always rotate and change, so there's always something to find new at the brewery. And then the top couple of beers that out in the metro area, Toasted lagers are a big right. seller. That's the one that's in the most of the bars. Okay. And uh, is that been around the longest, or is that just one of the most popular brews? It's a, what we started with. Okay. So it, it's, it's absolutely original. it's our flagship. It's uh, you know 90% of our business. You know, and, wow. uh, people just love it. It's a very unique product, and right. it's won uh, well. It just won an award for the as being uh, it was named the best amber lager in the world. Wow. And that was judged uh, by 100 professional brewers. Wow. In the um, world. Yeah, in the world. Correct. Yeah. yeah. There's 2,600 beers in the competition. The World Beer Cup is what it is. Wow. So we were happy about that, and we yeah. actually, you know, told a few people about it. Right, that's yeah. great. Yeah, we're actually really lucky here on Long Island uh, to have a, a really good water. We don't have to do much to, which is going to actually mimic sort of a water that you would find in England, which is sort of the styles of beer that we do go along those lines quite a bit. So uh, we just filter our water roughly, and we do a couple of. Uh, a couple changes to it as far as different minerals that are in it, not much at all. Um, we really don't even have to do those, um, and, and we get a great quality beer out of it. So all the ingredients are key, water, barley, hops, we, we spend a ton of money. I'm the one that orders all that stuff, I see the bills, we spend a ton of money on hops, barley, um, and, and you know, and, and our yeast and everything else. So it's, it's really important to get all that stuff. So again, talking about distribution and, and trying to get Blue Point out to the masses, uh, where are you guys looking to expand into uh, currently? Where should we go, Pete? Well, I guess in, we're in Virginia, so I guess the next step is North Carolina. Okay. Right, and then what's the one, then uh, we'll skip a couple and go down to Florida. That would be the plan right now. Uh, you know, people could find out at bluepointbrewing.com, you know, keep people up You guys to get that? that? That's bluepointbrewing.com. <laughs> Bluepointbrewing.com. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three uh, times. Right, say it. right. Um, so, again, we talked about the, the number of beers that you guys have on tap in the tasting room, and some of them are, are just kind of testing. Uh, what beers do you have out right now that uh, somebody in New York City or Connecticut or one of the uh, areas that has Blue Point beers, what can I look for? Oh, well, you can look for the Summer Ale, the Toasted Lager, the Pale Ale, uh, the Oatmeal Stout. Optical the Illusion. Optical Illusion. That's a great name. IPA. What's in a name? That's a great name. Double Pills is out there floating around somewhere. And uh, the latest uh, creation, the Rastafari. Rye. I saw Rastafari! The, uh, the, I saw the tap inside. It's a great looking tap. Yeah. It definitely is yeah. going to be on the list of so beers. It's, very, we, uh, it's a rye beer. 
You can chew on really? it. You're talking, about a, you're talking about a beer with food. But there really? you go. You yeah, want yeah, that No one. food necessary for this one, huh? Right. It's yeah. made with rye malt as well as barley malt, so you get a really uh, complex malt base to the beer. It's 7.5% okay. alcohol. All right. It's uh, full-bodied enough to mix with a lot of foods, and it's uh, been going, going really well. I think we're going to take a tour of the brewery now because uh, mostly I need another beer. I there feel you like go. this is a okay. good time to get that. Uh, and you guys are going to show us, I think, kind of walk us through the process on how sure. barley becomes barley and turns into deliciousness yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, here we go. Every day. Let's go. <laughs> Beer is uh, the four ingredients, barley, yeast, water, and hops. And right. So they all get blended and mixed along the process. So step one is you take the barley, it's in a silo outside, 50,000 pounds of barley, goes up through an auger and it goes in a mill and gets crushed up. We mix it with hot water, and what we're trying to do is extract the sweetness from the in inside of those barley corns, and so later on the yeast can make our two favorite things, alcohol and carbon dioxide. So step one is we mix, mix the, the malt, malted barley in with the hot water, and it sort of looks like oatmeal in there. They say all life itself starts from yeast. It's getting hot in here. Uh, do you mind if we go into uh, to the tasting room and uh, well, I don't know, maybe cool down? I'm almost empty here. Yeah, yeah, let's get yep. to the bottom here. Let's, yeah. let's go. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. To Move the, the crew. To the, to the tasting room. The tasting room at Blue Point Brewery. Beautiful establishment out here. Not only are they making fine, delicious beers, they've got a room called the tasting room. Uh, you can sample some of their uh, finest beers. Uh, it's a kind of a cool feel in here. The room is decorated and all the awards that they've won here at this brewing company, uh, as well as uh, a beautiful mosaic bar. Uh, it's just got a lot of style. feels very, very at ease. It's probably happy hour here every hour. Well, the Hoptic Illusion is one of our really popular ones. All right, so this is the Hoptical Illusion. Uh, this is the biggest glass you can buy it in. I'm just kidding. It's just a taster glass. Uh, it's awesome, though. It is hoppy, but not over the top. Uh, it's got some butteriness to it, but surprisingly light for a big India Pale Ale. I mean, I think one of the best things about it is the taste, and it makes my hands feel huge. Jessica, what's it going to be? Oh, you know what? I think the Pale Ale. It's really good. It's bitter and beautiful, just like my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no, again, they said this is uh, Jessica's favorite, who's been our bartender all afternoon helping us out, uh, and I can see why. This is a perfect example of a light-bodied uh, pale ale. You could easily have more than six of these all sitting outside in a summer afternoon. What are we going with now? Uh, I'm going to give you a Rastafari. It's, um, it's a rye pale ale. Sean making me crazy, man. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we have now moved on to the uh, Rasta Rye. This is one of their specialty beers uh, here at the Blue Point Brewing Company. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. It's got one of the best taps for beer I've ever seen, uh, but it doesn't stop there. The flavor, honestly, extremely soft, light. Uh, definitely a seasonal beer uh, for all seasons, if you know what I mean. All right, an amazing time out on Long Island where you can honestly see what two guys, two great friends have put together and doing an amazing selection of beers and created a great place to hang out. We'll see you next time. I'm Kevin Swan, and this is Tap That. Beer is the lubricant of social intercourse. It is. Oh, I didn't even see it go in that direction.